render this thing out. We go to File, and we choose Render. Now here's where all your options come in. I've decided to call this editing.mov, so I went ahead and typed that in. Um, you can browse to wherever you want the file to go. And I do want to, I, uh, the file format, I only use QuickTime for Linux. I haven't had good luck with others. You can mess around if you want to. Most of these are just different, you know, packages for things. But I've had best luck with audio and video sync using QuickTime for Linux. So I got QuickTime for Linux selected there. And that is my suggestion to you. Audio. Now here we have both these checks. We're going to have the project with video and audio. This will control your settings. Now if you are going to like pre-render something. Say we want to render this so that it's put it on one track and we can do some other stuff with it later on that's going to be more complicated use more processing power and we don't have to waste any processing power on you know all the transitions um, you want to keep it in digital video format but keep it in the QuickTime for Linux so what we do here is we go to audio and this would be two's complement but for rendering your stuff out I do uh, DVD format or DVD quality so we're going to choose MPEG-4 audio, default settings. Now again, if we were rendering this to do some additional stuff to it, it's best to keep it in digital video. And our video settings would be DV. But we're wanting to do DVD quality stuff, so we're going to do MPEG-4 video. 9800 kilobits per second is the bandwidth for your um, DVD video so that's what I put in here that's one two three four five six zeros leave all this standard that's all gonna be in there and then you know you click OK now we've named our project we've set up for the way we want it to render and render range say you want to uh, see how a project's going but you don't want to take the time to render the whole thing you just want to take a look at a couple of complicated things you did you can go here and highlight some of it <laughs> and then when you go to render you can render what is selected but we don't want to do that we want to render the entire project now if you have some specific presets you want to do for something you can save this as a render profile but I usually just stick with the one thing so again we've got the same options here we want to insert nothing because we are only saving this we don't want to create new resource or it's going to throw it over here into our media and let's click OK. It, uh, I had a previous attempt at this, so we're going to say yes, we want to override it. Because <laughs> I'm sure, and I know. Now, if you look up here in our little window, we can watch it while it renders the project. You saw it do the fade in, and everything's just going real nice here and when it's done we're going to have a video ready to uh, do whatever we want to with it upload it to YouTube or you know whatever suits your fancy
the bird to eat.